Welcome, everybody, uh, to the 19th episode of The Voyage to the Bottom of the Barrel. This is Season 3, Episode 3. And uh, if you're wondering, if you're new to The Voyage here, uh, you won't find 19 episodes on my channel. You will find uh, 19 episodes strewn about throughout uh, my fellow Voyagers here. And all of their links are going to be down below. Today we're talking about two movies directed by some guy whose name I'll never pronounce. One of which being Lady Terminator. The other, Dangerous Seductress. It should be a lot of fun, everybody. So join us, won't you? As we voyage to the bottom of the... Let's do this. Let's first of all just bring in. We're going to bring in the 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 panel now, and I think we will start with our fearless leader. Uh, he's been known as many different things around the internet, but he's also known as uh, Michael from the Hi, burial mommy. ground. <laughs> Hi. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hey, everybody. Hey. The South Sea <laughs> King here. I'm so excited to be talking about these movies. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? Yeah, your your delight, uh, the delight on your face when we met, when I mentioned them last time, uh, which it was my bad on that. It was I, I was ill prepared, and uh, these these movies were fresh on my mind. And uh, boy, what a couple movies they are! Indeed. Yep. Uh, so, uh, continuing on with the panel this evening, of course, none other than the slipcover master, Mr. Bullet Blake. <laughs> what is uh, up? I, I feel like I should say something with regards to how you don't like children, uh, but you, you do enjoy getting paid <laughs> to make them. But... Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but 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 not a fan, huh? Not a fan? I have I have nothing against kids. It's kids' movies. Uh okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tony of the Dead. What's going on, Mr. Tony? Hello, hello. You're you're uh, living in a dark abyss today. Don't you normally have some fancy schmancy lights going on? Well, that's not a fancy schmancy light. That's just an average old incandescent bullshit bulb right there, Tony. <laughs> Which is a light. <laughs> I feel cheated. This, I feel cheated. Let me find it. It's like science class. This yeah. is a bulb. Mm. Oh wow! That is a that is a beautiful bulb, and I don't mean that metaphorically. <laughs> Thank you. We're not talking about and, flowers here. Yeah, no, we are not. We're not. <laughs> uh, and Mr. Professor, the Professor Cinema, what's going hello, on, sir? Hello. I'm all right. How's everybody doing? I'm all right. Don't nobody worry about him. He is Hang all in. right. Ready nice. to get into and this. I'm actually really excited about tonight. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and last but not definitely not least, uh, the one, the glue who keeps us all together, our very own Deborah Voorhees, <laughs> my killer podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What's this shit about having me last? Woo! Uh, you know, <laughs> I just, I went in order right here that, uh, that of, of, the order that you all are appearing down <gasps> below. I was last to jump in. We're all below him. You hear that? 
Yeah, you are. You are beneath me. <laughs> Mel, no, I'll uh, pickle uh, your balls. Well, hello, hello, hello. That, that's okay. I, you are you are beneath been, me and my missing tooth right here now as I oh, go through geez. a process of getting uh, or some oral surgery going on. Nice. I've been waiting to see Mel for a month because I have somebody who wants to say hello. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Um, this is the worst he, he, thing I've ever seen. Super soft, super silky. Yeah, you, you gotta get one. It's great. No, I'm good. Thank ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I got you covered there. We're on standby. We just whip it out real quick here. Great. Um, we and we need to, we need to talk about our guests, but I we we have a word from our sponsor here, real quick. When I was a baby, you always oh my god. I loved your breast so much, Mama. When I was a baby. No. <laughs> no. There he is. There he is in person, live in the flesh. Uh, but no, now our our celebrity guest right here? this uh, week. Uh, shall we just? Are, are we going to open it up to the world uh, right now, MC, um, and bring him on Do in? It. Without further yeah. ado, a, a, a guy who you introduced to me a while back, who I find to be a quite lovely human being. We've had a lot of fun together. And uh, looking forward to doing uh, many more things uh, together down the years. And you all know Mel and I have disappeared all of a sudden. But uh, mm -hmm. you know him uh, as the director of a classic <laughs> Christmas movie. This is a fun one if you've never seen it. Uh, Elves, starring Dan Haggerty, directed by our good friend, Mr. Jeff. What's going on? Hello. Hi. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I want to be anywhere. So thank you, thank you for getting me out of my chair, or I'm in my chair, you know, figuratively. Hey, hey hi, Into your other. Hello, welcome. Yeah. Hi, right, thank you. Uh, Jeff yeah. is great. It's actually perfect to have Jeff on for this one because he uh, uh, he has a massive love uh, for Asian cinema of all kinds, uh, and I and I know how extreme he can get because he's shown me some things. But Jeff, uh, uh, it, to have you on here to specifically talk about Lady Terminator, it, it's very exciting to me. So I'm glad you were able to make the time, my friend. Oh, well, I hope I live up to your expectation. I think you <laughs> already have. Know. Just by there, showing there no up, I think you already have. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'll do my best. Uh, yeah. we, we, we typically do our best to uh, try and alienate our guests. And uh, I believe you've been on... The voyage before so uh have you not were, were you um no i follow a, i follow two of you but but i'll follow everybody else when i read it in the comments okay. or maybe it was just I, another one of mc's uh yeah yeah it was he, another he mc panel yeah he hasn't done voyage yet so this is oh, okay uh, okay this is this his, this his, is new for me this is first and last <laughs> i've been practicing holding my breath <laughs> oh, okay. For, for, okay. For, this, for the stink show we're about to embark upon. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not at all. <laughs> Masterpieces. <laughs> so uh, I, I have an idea of which movie we should discuss first, uh, but should we take a vote on this or do we just go with Dangerous Seductress? <laughs> well, I, like da I like Dangerous Seductress. I vote for yeah. that. Okay. So I had a feeling. There. I think. I think uh, uh, I'm a guest. Lady... I'm not allowed to vote. Okay. No, you are. You are. You know, you your your vote, vote counts as like your vote counts oh. for seven. So uh, there's. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh well, months. I guess I've just determined. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, then we're going to start with, and of course, uh, here we go. Dangerous seductress. I got up a little panel here. Look at that. I'm I'm fancy. <laughs> MC and Blake get to see the rest of you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, Dangerous hey, seductress, hey. a 1992 film directed by some guy that I. Uh, H, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. H. Chet Jolly. H. Chet Jalil. 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 H. Chet Jalil. Uh, it's an action fantasy horror film, an hour and thirty five minutes long. The evil queen returns to possess an American girl who she orders to go out and claim victims to sate her bloodlust. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> um, yes, it. So in watching the special features on the other film. Uh, Lady Terminator. I learned a little bit about uh, these films. Uh, came 
about at a time where oh i guess over in asia i don't know it was are these malaysian is that where they were from indonesia uh, indonesia. indonesia indonesia thank you thank you uh where the government was kind of cracking down on like adult films and so apparently there started to be a lot more uh instead of like exploitation a, a little more or adult film exploitation a little more like horror and sci-fi and action uh, type films. So I kind of think as we talk about these, we'll we'll learn some things that um, may or may not have surprised us about them, but I think maybe a bit of a result of that. And so, uh, yes, starting with Dangerous Seductress, once again, Mel and I are blocked out. I apologize. But uh, <laughs> if you sleep with her, you will sleep forever as the saying goes, and uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a quick stroll through a couple pictures, uh, a little bit along the timeline here. We start out with this wonderful, wonderful, funny, funny scene, which may or may not be the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> it is this woman being put? <laughs> yeah, the dangerous finger, and that finger scrolling across the landscape, uh, which ultimately would become a part of this. Uh, who oh, good Lord. wound up meeting this lovely blondie right here who wound up turning into this. Got guys all hot and bothered that turned into this. Uh, <laughs> and then for some reason, we got uh, probably about 20 minutes of this, uh, which I cannot explain. Uh, mm -hmm. But that's basically what you need to know about the movie. If that entertained you, <laughs> you're in the right place. The so, uh, yes, yes. Uh, and with that being said, uh, I think I always enjoy MC being last uh, because he seems to have these epic uh, so stories my wife. to talk about. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Mel... Uh, if you would, would you start us off with uh, this? And, and I know you love this movie so, 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 so much as, <laughs> as everybody did. So right out of the shoot, Mel, how do you feel about this movie right here? Well, right off the gate, the beginning was fucking terrible. I didn't like it at all. Uh, I did have a question for you directors. So when they were filming the part of the original seductress out in the wilderness and she was naked and then her titties started glowing. Yes. Sure. Uh -huh. This part. Do you do, does the actress know that that's going to be like an edit that happens later? Or <laughs> I was wondering no, if she was, was just like standing out there trying to look sexy and trying to be scary and then later she's like what the mm. fuck did they do to my titties why did they <laughs> <laughs> I, I was pissed like, off too like, this is an honest question i wanted to oh, see them Tony, too clip that clip clip that uh, clip mel saying what did you do to my titties <laughs> 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 you gotta use it. But i'm just no, curious but, like no there, there there is nudity there's this is a uh the version that's available uh, on dvd and the version that's on youtube is edited so there is a version of this movie that's full-on booba town but <laughs> they decided to to censor it and that's the only version that was available to mondo uh macabro uh so that's why she's got glowing nips oh, uh, okay. because they're, it's magic but no if if you do if you're a scientist like me i'm a researcher i like to research <laughs> things you know some say he's the bill you of youtube and like yeah i'm the bill exactly i'm the bill and I have youtube you go online you go google show me titties for dangerous seductress mm. you will find it so oh. Mel, oh. if you're afterwards go ahead i'm, and I'm not need <laughs> I was just curious because if I was her and I saw like the ending cut of this movie, I would have been embarrassed. That was embarrassing. Like, why would like of all the things to be glowing whilst she's like vamping out, it was her nipples. <laughs> that that's the embarrassing thing to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> how, about, how about this? My head's on your body. Is that embarrassing? At, just out of yeah. the gate. That, I, that was an amazing I save mean, there, by the way. Good. I look hot. <laughs> Tony, you look good. Um, so other than that part, which I found to be incredibly hilarious, and then the beginning that ultimately pissed me off, I found this movie kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't really get into it. I kept getting the blondes mixed up. They looked almost exactly yeah. the same. But, um, but that's the Asian Indonesian ideal of a perfect woman. 
you know, it, blonde, blonde, Caucasian. Gotcha. You know. Got, oh, I mean, that makes sense, but I was getting them confused. I was like, which one is which? Which one are we looking at right now? Um, so, yeah, I found the I found this one to be a little boring. And I'll I leave got it at confused that. the first two, to be honest. <laughs> like, after the whole struggle, I thought, how the hell is she all <laughs> fancy and dancing with this guy all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, that's her sister. Yeah, I, that's I was the like, sister. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and I want to point out in that song, there were Balinese gamelan bells, which you don't find in pop music a lot. So I, that's an interesting Indonesian oh, touch. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, the, the, now the you music... have to like it better, Mel. I, I love yeah. this movie. Yes, <laughs> as, you, as you should. As you should. You are welcome. I have gifted you greatness. Thank you. Mm. I don't know about uh, that. Professor, <laughs> Professor Cinema, would you uh, take the reins? Uh, sure. I... <laughs> I really enjoyed this movie. I had a really fun time watching it. Oh, no. uh, I I love the kills. I thought they were great. Uh, yes, the wooding was at or the acting was wooden. I don't know why I was about to flip that. Uh, probably because it's all wooden in that movie. Uh, and am I the, am I the only one that that was watching these movies thinking? Man, did they not have boom mics and they had to re-record everything in a booth because it sounded like that to me. It's yeah, well, was it, a little was here. was uh, were these both shot as English uh, or or do you know were Lady Terminator definitely sounded like uh, you know like, Lady Terminator or, was dubbed in Los Angeles. I guess okay. it had a larger buzz budget at the time, but they were shot in English. The mouth, mouth. There's that one police dispatcher that stands up and goes. I've got them, sir. You know, it's it's a weird dubbing voice. It's a, yeah, that, that didn't fit, but but yeah, this is that's this is standard for the Indonesian films of that time, huh? Nice. Okay. I, yeah, I think it adds a little charisma to them, a little charm, right? Yeah, it's it's just charisma. something that's a little different. And I was I was here for it. Like I was here for the whole thing. I was I was I didn't get confused by the two actresses, mostly because uh, uh, their boobs are different, but. Uh, <laughs> Ah. <laughs> you couldn't tell. You can't ah, see them. Good. <laughs> well, there's different shapes under the shirt. You can look at things differently. Like you know, Tony over here looks completely different with Mel's cartoon boobs. Here, how's this thing? But <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I, let's be honest. I look totally different with my cartoon boobs too. Okay. <laughs> like a, but, like a uh, uh, Tootsie Roll pop. The world will never know. Oh. <laughs> I changed the May to Will Never. Uh, but, uh, no, I thought I thought it was just a really fun movie. I guess it's just it it was a nice breath of fresh air from the previous yeah. movies that we've watched. <laughs> True. Yeah, yeah. I I um, I knew when when I gifted you all Lady Terminator mm. that I was in trouble this season. Uh, so mm. my next next round, I'm gonna have to go hard here. But uh, I did not know anything about uh, Dangerous Seductress. But I figured, being the same director, that we'd I'd probably be in trouble. So uh, mm, I'm screwed. Uh, <laughs> anything else, Professor? Uh, no, that's we move a, that's on? all I got for that right now. Right on. Uh, Jeff, our lovely guest, uh, how did you enjoy the dangerous seductress, sir? Well, you know, there, there's two. There, there's good, bad, and there's bad, bad. This was this was good, bad, but I couldn't help but see that many of the special effects that they were using in this film were the special effects I used in Elves. There's the there's the Roman Polanski hands mm. coming out of the ground to hold the the evil spirit in place. That, that that you pointed out they she did save because her head comes off so that works out but there's the hands coming out of the ground there's that step frame uh that, that's in film i don't know what you call it a video where you look and the video it's lags like behind what is that like a delay kind of look yeah it's a yeah it's a delay it's a delay kind of thing and then the whole uh uh doing that with a zoom in to get that kind of weird effect all the same effects I use, so I had to admire that, or something like that. Uh, <laughs> nice. uh, yeah, 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 they also whited out a part of her nether regions in a shot. 
Mm. Uh, maybe maybe you, that went by you quickly, but but I saw it. No, uh, that that one. This this isn't whited out, and I'm just hoping that YouTube doesn't catch that. But the whited out scene, uh, I just couldn't find an image. Uh, I mean, these are shoddy enough as it is, being that big. But I couldn't find an image out there that wouldn't be completely blurry by the time it blew up to the full screen. So that's why we don't have that one. But I'm just uh, glad they a, blocked out her knee because that was really distracting in that picture. Yeah. There's a you definitely know that both these films are by the same director. Uh, uh, this one, by the way, was directed by John Miller, according to the credits. And 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 and, and I'm curious because both films also had a dialogue coach. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what does anybody have any idea what a dialogue coach does in a film i've seen that a lot it seems to me that they're the actual actor's director uh there there was a thing going yeah. on is that it there was a it, it, uh, indonesia also had a, a a unspoken rule about if you're gonna if a distributor is going to import a film that you have to produce an indonesian film the same and and this film especially this film was made after Lady Terminator, which is odd because it seems to have had a lower production quality than Lady Terminator. Oh, wow. You'd think if he had uh, success, he'd have gotten some good money for a dangerous seductress. Uh, uh, she didn't shoot as much, but she killed a lot. I, I love when a distributor comes in and says, it's happened to me. I, I want to write a movie. Uh, I want you to write a movie for me. And uh, this guy falls in love with this girl who's a music student. And then later they make love in the VIP room. Okay, go. Uh, you know, what, what, you, you have to fill in. You have to fill in all the blanks. So this one, he had a vision, I think, of of taking a swig of alcohol and pouring it on the girl's chest and then licking it off, and somehow that was sexy in his mind, but it didn't seem to come off sexy in, in, in the film. Uh, uh, and I and I don't know why. Uh, I, you know. Uh, there's all kinds of things like that where where he had these ideas and he and he put them all together. But when when you put it together and you have enough, oh, and he he's got a there's a there, there's a consistent thing where girls in both movies shoot electric rays out of their eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's a good effect, and he, he predated all the Marvel stuff. Uh, you know, well, I guess Superman was around then, uh, but uh, uh, when you put it together and you have enough murder and you have enough mayhem uh it almost doesn't matter and you understand that in indonesian and in a lot of asian languages the subject is the other side of the of the object and the language is a little backwards and so maybe if you apply that to the editing it's just a lot of fun you just you watch you know i don't know i i uh somebody else talk about something else now I'll have a comment oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a question. Great, though. I have a question for Jeff. Yeah. And about because you know, like the lasers and all the like blue electricity and stuff. Was that expensive back in the day? No, no, no. That yeah. I I I I I did that. <laughs> it's funny, that's another effect that I did in elves with rays coming out of the crystal. Uh, if you didn't see it, it doesn't matter. But then they forgot <laughs> to put it in. Uh, so, but it was just something. But there's just something that they do at a little computer, little little laptop. Oh. Uh, that that stuff. Although I don't know if it was done on film or if it was done on on video. That's an interesting question. Either way, it's just a composite. Uh, that that stuff. Jose, do you know? I don't. I've never had I, to do MC. I'm like sorry. That, so. Yeah, I, I, I do not. You've revealed his a true identity. What? what are you I'm talking? sorry. I'm Who sorry. Are you talking to? You? Don't get canceled. I'm the South Sea King. I don't know what you guys are talking about. A South Sea King. Yeah, what's that? Uh, South Sea King. You don't know? You don't know no. what that is? Oh my fucking god! Okay, wait. <laughs> Uh, it's hard. It's it's hard for me because I it, it, both films were so similar and seeing them so close together, I've got them mixed up in my mind. But I, I, I the the one, the one one criticism I have, uh, even though the films were fun, there, there's one thing where you sh see a bunch of bottles getting shot up, and then you cut to another shot and somebody's shooting. It it just you have to make sure your cutting is tight or something. Uh, a lot of stuff was going on in both films that you weren't sure what the stimulus was for the for the result. You know, uh, I don't know yeah. if anyone else noticed that. Like edited backwards, 
Yeah, like, edit, yes, edit it backwards, just like the language. And... <laughs> uh, be, before we uh, jump over to Tony, let me just, we've been, I've been neglecting uh, the viewers here. Let me just say hello quickly to everybody. And I apologize for not getting to all your comments. We are, uh, we do have a, a hard out time today. So we're trying to zip right through things here, but we appreciate everybody uh, hanging out with us. Mm-hmm. Gail, how you doing? Sydney Jenkins, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Holland Oates, Jim Powers, mm-hmm. TC. Deadpool fanatic. All of my killer podcasts is here. Sweet. I'm surprised. All of those is a good today. name. <laughs> Robert C. What's going on, Brian Sanchez? How is everybody doing here? Robert makes the cut. What's up? And the Wicked Network. What's up, everybody? How are y'all doing? Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, with that, uh, Jeff, you were you were raising uh, a finger as if to say one more thing. I, I, I I'm looking at my notes here. I actually took notes. Uh, uh, the, the the chroma key effects were like 1960s Doctor Who. I appreciated that. And uh, <laughs> But the other thing is, and this is common in both films, when you're making a low-budget movie and you're like John Miller, or however you pronounce his name, <laughs> uh, Jalil, uh, and you have a friend, he says, I've got a mansion. You can come shoot my mansion. And you go, oh, that's great. I'd be high production value and everything. But then you got to make sure that it's not just white walls and nothing oh. on the walls and all those shots in the mansion. I just thought, you know, you're, you're, you're wasting the production value because it's just white walls. You may as well just do it in front of a white, you know, a white backdrop or something. And it, and it made the lighting. You think, oh, it's going to make the lighting easy because we can bounce the white on. Oh, it makes the lighting just horrible. But, <laughs> you know, that's. That 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 was that was that was one of my big notes. There you go. Yeah. No. That and that that definitely uh, is something that I notice in lower budget films when you see those white walls in the background, and it's like, okay, director, come on, you know, get, you know, just <laughs> even if you're not paying them, just pick somebody, have your your significant other show up and be a set design, and just go, okay, we're moving some things in the background, and like the geniuses behind Death Toilet. Even if you have to take the same picture and put it in four different spots, you take that one picture and move it around so you don't have a plain white wall behind. They are geniuses. There was they a are. there was they a are. great low budget stunt when the car. I think it was. I, yeah, I think it was Deadly Seductors. The car flies up and then the trunk blows up, and then the car explodes when it hits. I love that, but you know, you you you've got to. Yes. You you have to understand. <laughs> uh, Tony, how'd you enjoy these films, sir? What do you got to say? Well, I don't know what movie Mel watched, but the whole beginning was awesome. <laughs> the car chase. I thought I was watching Action You're the USA. Worst. <laughs> Action USA insp- inspiration there, or vice versa. Mm-hmm. It, not as risky, but yet that's the feeling. The, that man has a, a punch so quick, you don't even see the first punch. You just hear it twice. It yeah, twice. <laughs> That was yeah. right. I thought, is this gonna be a, like a, a a horror comedy kind of movie? And it wasn't. They and those guys <laughs> ended up. <laughs> I, I, the whole sure first wasn't. scene that could have been the movie, and it would have been five. It would have been five barrels. <laughs> was anybody else nervous that how willing he was to punch the driver? Repeatedly, <laughs> yeah, that was, he kept he kept punch. I think that was supposed to be funny, right? I hope so. I I know. Know. That was a joke within the yeah. That was I I like that. <laughs> like it's just like a double punch. It was so good. And then, uh, going. And then I, what are you doing? And then he like they crash into that graveyard, and like <laughs> was it a branch or something goes through? And I'm like, oh my god, are they gonna rip this guy in half? And then it just like. I'm th- and the whole time I'm also thinking, how is this car still going? You know? <laughs> and and nobody could hit anybody. The shots, like, it's terrible, like, with that stuff. But then the movie turned when a mirror opened up. <laughs> a clam or something <laughs> opened up. And a finger <laughs> what? crawled across the screen. I, I watched this in the and I, I, out loud, I'm going, what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> so... I was like, okay, this has to be in- Evil Dead inspired. Because I thought when she was like getting the blood on her and stuff, or you know, and coming back to life, I thought that looked really cool. I thought like her coming out totally reminded, like I said, Evil Dead. Her screech 
was so annoying. I just, <laughs> a little bit like higher pitch. So if you yeah. clip that, make sure you put the vocal higher. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was, the whole beginning, I was like, okay, it's cool. And then, then you get to this girl, and she's you know hot and everything. But like, her boyfriend comes in, and you're gonna have a nice dinner, and then struggle snuggle and then it's like what the f-? and i'm like what the he fuck couldn't even happened? wait until after dinner men he gave, her a ring. he gave her a ring what the fuck why why is she like you're like that's a- oh so that means he doesn't have over. to wait a ring, baby. <laughs> yeah, well, ring goes out the window <laughs> yeah that 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 was a roller coaster that went from like i'm mad at you to i love you Zero to, to I'm mad at you. <laughs> just a nice Very guy quickly. what and, for and him what? the ring was the foreplay okay technically speaking <laughs> yeah. the the, Indo- the indonesian actors had indonesian accents it was their own voice and 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 i i like that a lot i mean if you're going to be indonesian and talk in a movie you should have indonesian accent but that's yeah. <laughs> but then, then I, like yeah, you're saying, I, I couldn't. I, I, love, I, I sorry. Oh, sorry, Tony. Just real quick, just about the uh, the, uh, right. the Indonesian actors. I really love that the Indonesian actors uh, use their Indonesian names. For example, Bob <laughs> is a, is a, is a is a standard <laughs> Indonesian name. Yeah. Fantastic. Sorry, Tony. What was the husband's name? I actually really like him in this movie. He was like the I'm only Bob. nice guy. Bob. Who was Bob? Bob. Was that Bob? Yeah, Bob, Bob was a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, he looks like, like a Bob. Yeah, and Bob was a nice guy. Bob Too was nice. a nice guy. I liked him. But uh, <laughs> what? See, I don't know. I feel like they rushed things. I like they threw a lot of things in the movie, like out of order. Because Lady Terminator is kind of like straightforward. This one's kind of like let's pe- put this one here. Let's put this one here. But one of the things that made me laugh was where they're driving with her with her first trick. And then, because she's she's so hungry. First off, if she could just do that shit, if she could just do that shit, why does she have to lure them back to the house? You know, like she could just walk right, down a right. street and just suck the blood out of all the men around, and or women. That would be short. Yeah, but then at least it would make sense. You know, I like how easy Indonesian men seem to be. Yeah. That, 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 oh sure, that yes. I, oh, I, yeah. I'm ready. I love how yeah. you thought this one yeah. petite woman was going to satisfy all of them, too. Like, that never <laughs> happened. Let, yeah, it just goes to show you, if this ever is going to happen, like, think it's going to happen to you in life, run away, because you will die. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know? That's yeah I'm sorry. She You're... hooked them into a meat packing thing, like Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's like, hi, after like trying to chase her on there for like five minutes, I'm like, I'll go jerk off. Fuck off, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, she wants me now. I'll, I'll push these sides of beef yeah. away. Why, why were some of them in plastic? I don't understand that. I don't know. I don't think they were they props or something. I don't know. I don't did they did so. sell that meat later? I wondered that. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I got confused too. Like Mel said, like I thought that she just had this struggle happen, and then she's like dancing with a guy, and I'm like, "What? What happened here?" And it's like, "Oh, that's a sister." By the way, which had she was the worst one in this movie. Her lines being were so bad, like so stale, you know. And I'm like, "Oh my god!" Oh, like she was painful to listen to. What's wrong? Why don't you come to Bali with me? I'll be here for a few more days. Do you need you any your- money? <laughs> it's in the top dresser if you need it. Okay. It's like so bad. It was like, Jesus. I didn't even know she was. If you're there. worried about her lines, then you're watching the wrong thing in the film. That's what he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, fair. But yeah, I mean, it started getting a little bad toward the end. I love with the uh where they were i was gonna say this but i didn't fish she was driving with the guy and the did i say this the blood on the windshield and then he's oh, wiping yeah. it and yeah. then they show it and yeah, it's yeah. gone and then they show it again he's wiping it off with the wind wiper white windshield wipers and then it's gone again like I didn't well, that. You know, I, like, I would i would i i'm gonna defend the movie there i think it was she was sending it to his mind and he was seeing that but it wasn't really happening so i think that's what it was yeah i agree but with you that's what i thought is, that could be so i don't know that's what I, I, I thought just, it was. I, 
but it just looks sloppy. If they, if, I, I, I think John Miller did not have a uh, continuity uh, budget. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, John Miller. I, I, I love how red the blood was. Did anybody else notice that? That the, all the blood was bright, oh, yeah. you know, primary red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, all in all, it was it was an all right movie. I just don't understand why she picks up this book and just reads it. Which yeah, again, don't read too. a fucking book like that out loud. <laughs> I wouldn't even like chanting, it in, chanting yeah. these these but, but foreign she language things she into a mirror. Oh please, come It's like, how do you know what you're even saying, and how do you know that this is summoning somebody? And then you mm. get you get the queen in the mirror. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It, it was just after that. It was kind of fun, but it was it was a bad movie. There, um, the guy that the boyfriend definitely got what he deserved. But I feel like I wanted to see him punished more. You know, like the head coming off was really cool. The the glass going into him was awesome looking. But I wanted more. Maybe there's more to another edition. Maybe it's just YouTube or yeah youtube or something yeah, I, I definitely I, wondered that too yeah but the, i thought the kills were pretty cool the practical effects were cool the movie's not good but like i didn't have a problem watching it i thought it was pretty fun i just wish the quality w wasn't so shitty that we where we watched it but because it was on you YouTube. got what you got huh because it was on youtube you mean yeah yeah like it was like 360 you couldn't even like I've just gotten even. used to watching movies like that because of all the terrible <laughs> movies we have to watch. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't mind like gritty, but like it was hard to watch sometimes, like to see what I'm looking at. You know, they yeah. all can't be Korean from Seoul. They just can't. So, thankfully, right. <laughs> but love on a leash, they can all be. Ooh, <laughs> how's that? Tingling my That's loin. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Right on. Uh, and and in, uh, in the oh. words of OGP, if you don't like it, suck it. Indeed, that's <laughs> what you do. You suck it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Slipcover, Bullet Blake, uh, enlighten us if you would. Okay. First off, I want to say, holy shit, I love the movie Elves. Holy, I, I, I get constantly <laughs> mad. Same. I was going to wait until the end to say that, though. So mad that it, a, it needs a Blu-ray release, and it needs one, like, five years ago. Ugh! I love Elves. I love Dan Haggerty. Fuck yeah. Okay. I was curious. Do you know why that's stuck on VHS by any chance? <laughs> We've tried. We've yeah, tried. There's, yeah. Jose has tried. I've tried. Uh, it's possible. We'll see something. something is stirring now. Ugh, I hope so. I'm consistently mad that I can't get it on Blu-ray. It drives me nuts. But <laughs> the, anyway, back to this movie. <laughs> well, e everyone's pretty much said exactly what it was. I think it started off strong, stronger than it finished. Like I got <sighs> bored halfway through. But the the car chase at the beginning was great. The I mean, the car flew through the air a little long, and it looked like it was like a toy on a string that just kept turning for a little bit there. Like. I thought it was an okay movie. I, I, everyone said everything already, so you know, like it was all right. That's that's it. What was your favorite part? <laughs> I love that part too. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait. What was it? Uh, that part? Absolutely <laughs> not. Oh, by the way, you should warn people that if you're going into this blind. Uh, you won't see it, but if you haven't seen this movie before, there is a uh, both of them technically. There's like some animal cruelty. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the chicken. There. Yeah. There. There was. Uh, yeah. That was. There were. There were some. There were some cocks bitten off, and then there was a cock uh, destroyed. That <laughs> cocks are bitten <laughs> off. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. No, um, no, I, I didn't, in, and I didn't remember which movie it was, but I, I do. I was like, ooh, ooh, that's very, very taboo nowadays. And uh, yeah, you know, shelved this one uh, with um, Cannibal Holocaust, and and uh, <laughs> or no, no, not not Cannibal. What was the, the whatever Holocaust where they killed the turtle? Cannibal. Yeah. No, it's cannibal. It's cannibal. Okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Uh, my feeling is that the caterer supplied the chicken and everybody ate it after the scene. So that's it's not as bad. 
Yeah. It's not like watching a Cardona movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Peaks. Uh, well, then, um, I guess that's all Peaks. we have to say about that movie. We'll move on to the next one now. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, 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 Mr. Master Chaos, uh, what what say you about those fine CG effects and uh, this particular film right here? Go ahead, sir. I okay. When you said Lady Terminator, my eyes exploded because <laughs> I love uh, spoilers. I love Lady Terminator so fucking much. I think it's the most perfect movie ever fucking made. <laughs> I have this. I, I have this double feature uh, from uh, Mondo Macabro that has Dangerous Doctors, but I've never watched it because I didn't think it would be as perfect as Lady Terminator, and I was correct. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, I, I put this film in. It starts off. Starts off great. I mean, I just I know Lady Terminator so well. And I saw it. I'm like, okay, awesome. Same kind of energy. Crazy shootout that everybody should have died in. Uh, just sh- just filming it. This is great. Then a bank. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I think happens in the movie. A bank robber is in a car crash. His finger rips off, crawls away, falls into a mirror, like a man- one of those little vanity makeup mirrors, and becomes a dwarf woman that then grows to a full-size skeletal woman, um, but her boobs glow. And so I was with the movie until then. Then her boobs glow, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's a weird choice. And I'm, <laughs> I you know, the same thing. Like, but I said, I'm sure I know Lady Terminator, so I'm sure at some point we're going to see her areolas, correct film? <laughs> no, no areolas for you. So <laughs> going forward, I'm like, all right, fine. Uh, we, we meet a blonde girl. That, that, go ahead. Uh, meet a blonde girl. Then we meet another blonde girl, and I thought that's a weird choice. Why are there two characters that look exactly the same, and and really add nothing to the plot? One goes to model and just take up our fucking time, and the other one gets possessed by the the whatever the fuck she is, the demon woman, the dangerous seductress, who's somehow Queen. now in a mirror, the whatever she is, and she's gotten some kind of outfit. I don't know where she got this Party City or something, but it, she gets she's, she's got clothes now. Fancy. So, okay, she's possessed and she goes, okay, now you're going to go fuck some dudes up. Oh, uh, yeah. Welcome to Titty Town, everybody. And then the movie <laughs> proceeds to not show nudity. Now, I know it's a, it, 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 it's a small thing, but why wasn't there any nudity in the movie? So this one sent me on my research quest through the internet, through the wilds of the internet. <laughs> Turns out there is, a, there is a nudity cut. This version is edited. I don't know why but it is. Uh, however, this version of Dangerous Seductress, I can only refer to as tits appointing because I <laughs> was very, very uh, tits appointed. The biggest mistake this movie makes is that it's boring. The, the Thank first you. first half, holy shit. Awesome, awesome. This is going to be great. And then we fucking get modeling. We get dancing. Stop fucking dancing. Somebody do something. Uh, we kill the guy. It's barely a kill. A little bit of blood. Uh, and then not even nudity. And then they give us the fucking ending. With spoilers. <laughs> uh, with lasers and mirrors. And okay, uh, when the guy showed, showed up with the M16, I'm like, yes, M16. We're missing M16s. There's gotta be M16s in this. And he barely uses it. Anyway, uh, not my favorite. Uh, and that's where that's where that's where my opening thoughts for Dangerous Seductress. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, All right, goodness. yeah. So uh, for me, for this film, uh, going in, I, I, I and I watched this first because I just felt like Lady Terminator was going to be better, Same and I, and mm-hmm. I think that is going to be the consensus. But uh, right off the bat, with when we have you know the finger and the woman kind of being put together. And immediately you understand that this film is going to be cheesy. It, you know, it's going to be the, you know, action, act, whatever, exploitation. That, 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 you understand that they're, 
they're going to act like it's serious and hopefully maybe even if, if it took 20 years hopefully they look back and go oh what a joke that film was but um it if you knew what you were getting into it makes it a lot easier to get through it but yeah there was some fun at the beginning some fun at the very end but man when we got like what seemed like an eternity of shots of a beach and girls walking around and i'm like why what you know and and like mc said the whole movie you're going like i understand this genre there should be areolas abound there were none to be found no areolas so, for you no no <laughs> and wanted so, too much that's why <laughs> No, and, and uh, one thing, so <laughs> with both of these films, I noticed shots. I mean, there were continuity issues. Um, like one time there's like the guy's on one side of the car and then all of a sudden he's on the other side of the car. And then um, it, I don't remember if it was this or which movie it was, but there was like a shot of like New York City, but it was backwards. Like the World Trade Center was on the wrong side. And so there, there were things like that that I picked up on both movies. But I feel like this director hired the graduating class from Tommy Wiseau's uh, School of Acting <laughs> because they oh, all yeah. had the, the the most like, I don't. And again, I, these movies are so similar in style that some of the things kind of blend together for me, but there was like a scene where like a guy gets killed and, and his friend is like, it's like, Oh, he's dead. Like, okay, bye. So, uh, you know, just it, the lack of emotion and the weird delivery of stuff uh, of the lines, you know, was, it was funny because you understand. Yeah. Being an Indonesian film, it's, you know, there, there is like language, barriers or whatever but um that that stuff was weird but then understanding it 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 wasn't like i kind of embraced it after a while but uh it was fun i wasn't like i didn't know what to expect one with either of these movies and i do have to give a big shout out and give credit to our main man uh, that bat samurai guy for introducing me to lady terminator a while back and he uh, I saw a clip of it, and he's like, "Bro, you're gonna love." It. He's like, "You know, <laughs> fat Bro, you're gonna love this. Check it out." And then, so <laughs> that's, that's as deep as I can go. So I will never get to Samurai's uh, level of deep voiceness. Uh, mm-hmm. But he sent me a clip of this, and it's it's this. Well, I, we won't talk about that yet. But um, it was hysterical. And so I was out in Chicago. I saw this out in the wild, and I was like, "Oh no way! No, I'm I'm buying the shit out of this." And so. Uh, hopefully one day I'll find a dangerous seductress and add it to the collection as well. But, uh, but you know what? I was, I didn't know going in and after watching this, I go, you know what? I think, um, well, I, I, there's something I want to say, but I, I don't want to say it just yet. So we'll leave it at that. Uh, and with that being said, uh, in order to stay on time, we got to whip through these scores here. And so um, I think I'm going to shut up now. Unless anybody else has anything to say before we dive into scores, speak now. Forever hold your peace. No, we'll do final no. thoughts as we okay. as we score. Yes, it. no, of Go course, ahead. of course. I'm sorry, you know. Uh, but uh, any, any, I just anything to add before we do that. But uh, final thoughts and score, Miss Mel. Uh, e- okay, so final thoughts and then give my rate, my barrel rating. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Um, I do want to throw it out there that I appreciated the part in the beginning when the woman was like piecing herself together. I thought that was really cool, Um, but everything else sucked ass. So I'm going to give it a zero. Wow. Zero. (laughs) That that um, it wasn't even worth. It wasn't even worth a one. That that struggle snuggle really damn uh, ruined well, it. Well, it's wow. only because so I liked good. Lady Terminator a little better. So okay, a little. It's a master, but <laughs> 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 oh 
Oh wow! I I am I am surprised, Mel. I I am surprised. I just I couldn't get over how boring it was. Like I agree with everything all of you guys said, but man, there just was like nothing for me to hold on to, and it kind of let me down in the beginning because I was like, ooh, look at this. We got bones. We got fleshy stuff. It looks kind of practical, effecty, and then like none of that. <laughs> Yeah. Happened, you know, it, it was just like it was this big build up in the in the beginning and then it just let me down through the rest of the movie. So it's almost like you didn't even need the, the seductress, like the, the yeah, chicken like, around. It was almost like two different movies, like the beginning and then the rest of the movie. Like I don't know. Uh, well, I'm sorry to have disappointed you, Mel. You're welcome. <laughs> no, you're <But> not. <laughs> you're welcome. You're you're keeping my hope. <laughs> And dreams of a trophy alive for at least. I know. You're welcome, uh, uh, Professor. Your thoughts, sir. Uh, like I said, I was I was really into the kills. I really enjoyed the kills. Uh, when when uh, the uh, assaulted uh, lady's boyfriend was killed, I I was really into that whole scene. The glass going into him, I thought that was fantastic. It looked really really good. Uh, and I'm I'm actually going to give this a, a, a two barrels. Wow! Oh, I thought you were going to be higher. Yeah. Am I the oh. only one that's going to give this movie See, a zero? That kid does not agree with that barrel score. <laughs> no, are you hearing the the screaming? I have a uh, my niece, and then uh, the neighbor's baby is in the background there. So oh, I pardon thought, the thought screaming. It was the kids that Blake kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Shut the <laughs> cellar door, Blake. I can hear I you. I thought you yes. you didn't like kids. Why are you collecting yeah. them? That's weird. He likes them for dinner. <laughs> collecting them. Collecting so, uh, Jeff, final thoughts and a score, please. Well, I'm not sure how the scores work on on this voyage, but can I give it's it a, a, a a single finger in the barrel? <laughs> <Is that laughs> uh, in the barrel. Zero through five barrels. Zero through five. Yes. Well, that's that's a single barrel. One barrel. Single barrel. All right. Wow. Okay. Interesting. All right. I'm gonna be higher for you, Jeff. Honestly. Well, co com I'm comparatively, right. I'm comparing. Same. Okay. Uh, Mr. Tony. Hmm. Well, I'd probably say uh, a two. That's my final. I don't have final thoughts. I kind of said everything, but yeah, probably a two. I don't think it deserves any higher. <laughs> I don't think it was a zero. I don't think it was a one. So yeah, it's a two. The screen nice. was incredible. Well, you pointed out. Oh, I hate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? That scene. I was enjoying that scene, but you're right. The scream, like it was like, what's going? Like why? Why you have this? I mean, as far as effects from late '80s, early '90s on a lower budget. I mean, this they obviously had money, but. You know, when, when you put all that together, the scene for what it was was really fun. And then that scream was just... I, 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 I shouldn't point it out, but if you watch Elves again, there's a scene where she comes on the elf and the elf rears up and screams. It's that same scream. So. <laughs> oh, that's oh, interesting. It's just cut short. Uh, I, I love when she comes it. on the elf. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> You gotta give oh, them a little man. love. A little bit. <laughs> Elves need love too. Um, <laughs> Mr. Slipcover. I think you're, you're muted, muted, dude. Uh oh. Okay, I'm honest I'm honestly almost on the same page as Mel. Like I think the beginning was great and then it just was fucking dull. Like I mean the kills got okay, but it was it was boring. <laughs> so yes. I'm going to give it a half a barrel. <laughs> but why? Because, because those extended dancing scenes, <laughs> the chicks were only half naked. So it gets yeah, a half yeah, a barrel. Yeah, very true. Very true. If, if Somebody... they were whole naked, it would have got a whole barrel, but they were only half naked. So half <laughs> barrel. All that, all that stuff could be trimmed off. Like all that. <laughs> whole naked. I think it would be a lot oh, better. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <sighs> All right, Matt, you guys are keeping my dreams alive here. I, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of surprised. Uh, the South Sea King. Um, um yes. 
Uh, this movie, uh, I'm surprised you guys don't haven't picked up on it, but it's only if you're hardcore into Lady Terminator that you'll know what that's from. But anyway, I'll, I'll reveal my identity later. This movie did feel like two different movies. It felt like they were making it up as they go along. Hey, let's do a car chase movie. Oh, you know it would be great if a naked woman came out of the ground. Okay. Oh, I know two hot blondes. Hey, let's put them in the movie. Maybe they're other, other fancy or something. And, and then, uh, <laughs> and so I think let's use my friend's too. white mansion. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pieced yeah. together from whatever elements they had, and so it doesn't really feel cohesive. I feel Lady Terminator is. I mean, basically, it's the Terminator, but this feels very sloppy, and it's boring as fuck. Um, however, I can't give it any lower than a two because I think. Um, I think there's definitely some merit here, and the fact that that there was a a skin to win version uh, gives me hope that one day we'll get an uncut, dangerous seductress, um, 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 you know, uh, a non non areola glowing edition, uh, which, which would be great. And then and then Mel, we get we can have a watch along party online here, and you can see, look, her areolas, they look fantastic. Oh, goody, uh, areolas know, for everyone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. uh, we can so, hope. Uh, so yeah, two uh, a two for dangerous seductress. Um, I I was I was really disappointed. I mean, just especially knowing that this came after Lady Terminator. I'm like, man, I, I didn't know that. I, you, it's you weird. Doesn't it seem like it was earlier? I yeah. Don't... yeah, like it was his first yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I went into it without even knowing what it was about. <laughs> mm. That's why I thought it was a comedy at first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. Lady, Term <laughs> Lady Terminator, you can laugh pretty much all the time. Uh, yeah. yeah. It had like so. the same kind of comedic aspect. But what the finger went across, though, was that the clam calling it? Or is it just so happened that the finger crawled across, you know, because it was just kind of laying there? No idea. Well, wasn't that a takeoff on Venus on the half shell? I don't know. Uh, sure. Oh, yeah. Jeff. 100%. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I just I thought it was fun. The finger going across and then her being put together and everything. I thought it was fun. So uh, something that I mentioned, and, and we're, I'm sorry, Mister uh, South Sea King, were were you done? I did. I didn't mean. To I'm done. I'm done. Okay. So something I was going to mention a minute ago was that, and then I didn't want to say it because I did not want to impact your scores, but I did a thing. I guessed everybody's scores for both movies. So, and here are my lists. Uh, I guess that MC would give it a two. MC gave it a two. I guessed uh, that Tony would give it a two. Tony gave it a two. I guess that uh, Blake would give it a two. I failed because he gave it a half. I guess <laughs> Mel would give it a one. Mel gave it a zero. I guess Professor would give it a two. He gave it a two. And uh, I guess Jeff would give it a one. And Jeff gave it a one. And I guessed. Wow. The biggest surprise of them all. I guessed that I would give it a one. And haha, I gave it a one. How did oh, you know that? Wow. that, that, that that's, that's can't be coincidence. Great. Dude, you're skills. like Madam Web. Awesome. No, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, uh, I'll never. So, so anyways, I'm not watching there that they movie. Are. There's, there's my guesses and there's the actual scores. So I just thought I was like, right. I'm gonna have a little fun with this and see what, uh, what I if I can if I know you all well enough yet. And uh, uh, Bullet Blake, I do not know uh, well enough. And and I. <laughs> I did my guesses before I found out uh, that uh, Mel um, took uh, particular offense, and and it was, and and don't get me wrong, uh, it is it is very hard, and I think they went with the struggle snuggle to really really <laughs> press us off and, and, Such and a... really make uh, really make us uh, hate this guy and hope for his demise, which right. la 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 la, he uh, got the demise, so uh, <laughs> yeah, he did. So that is that. And uh, any 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 uh, thing else before we move on to our uh, feature film for the evening here? I'm going to tell you a joke from Jimmy Carr. Oh, okay. I said to my wife, "Do you want to experiment with a role play, rape fantasy?" She said, "No." I said, "That's the spirit." <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Snuggle, struggle. I, I'm gonna have to let that digest a bit. That's I missed that. Yeah. That was good. That was, that good. was for Mel. That was good. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thank you. Hey, Blake still hears yeah, about the kids thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be hearing about, hear about rape. Oh, great! 
Is this my thing now? I don't, uh, I don't want this to be my thing. <laughs> I want a different thing. <laughs> Just I don't happen. think you get to choose. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm glad I didn't go with uh, changing my name to the Snuggler today. So I would have I would have been on Mel's list, <laughs> like on Tim and Eric. I'm a snuggler, I snuggle you. Yeah, you see, I'm gonna snuggle you. Yeah, come on you, now. You ever see that on Tim and Eric? Yikes! It's I don't a, know who Tim a, and Eric are. Forgive me. Tim and Eric's awesome show. Great job. And uh, I know, but I haven't never watched it. Oh, it's so good. Mm. It was was so good. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's basically a Zach Galifianakis, and it's like supposed to be like a fake show that's on like CBS or something. And he has like really high shorts, and then he goes and he's called the Snuggler, and he goes, "I'm the Snuggler, I snuggle you." Like <laughs> actually snuggle though, like they he like snuggles. <laughs> it's like a stupid ugh, thing. Hilarious. So just, that's what I thought when you said that. Move on. <laughs> Good. All yeah, right, <laughs> we're moving on to look at this. Look at this lady Terminator. A couple different. I'm guessing that may have been like the original poster, uh, as yeah. opposed to uh, like the this copy that I have right here, which is like the I guess the more common uh, release from what is it? What are they? Mondo, Mondo. Macabre. Yeah, Macabre. But, yeah, Mondo Macabre. And uh, Lady Terminator here from 1989. It's an hour and 22 minutes of gloriousness. Action drama fantasy. The spirit of an ancient evil queen possesses the body of a young anthropological <laughs> student who then goes on a murderous rampage. Yes. So uh, we, actually, we actually start out lady. with this fair maiden right here. Uh, who then uh, proceeds to uh, make this gentleman uh, nut blood and uh, <laughs> <I'm> gonna, <laughs> nut blood? <laughs> phrase it that way so we don't what get uh, banished. Then we're out on a boat, and uh, this lady mm. here wants to go to a certain spot in the sea, and uh, this guy has pissed her off because he referred to her <laughs> as a woman, and damn it, she will not be referred to as a lady. She's mm -hmm. an anthropologist. That's right. And if you piss her off. She will point a Uzi in your face that will sound like a shotgun, and then later on <laughs> will destroy you with her laser eye beams. Nice. There it is. I spoiled it for you. Everybody, <laughs> we need say no more. I didn't uh, watch this one. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. <laughs> wow. There's no way. There's no, way. no, I watched it. Is Go this, back to that. I'm, I'm not a lady. I'm an anthropologist. Go back to that. Does, does that captain remind anybody else of Jack Palance? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes, yes he did. <laughs> and unfortunately, that was the best quality picture I could get. So forgive yeah. me, everybody, that that is oh, so man. blurry and grainy. But uh, yeah, that was and Lady Terminator. Oh boy, this is this is going to be a fun one to talk about. MC, uh, do you want to hold your thoughts for last, or you want to? Uh, I mean, we typically go one way and then we go the other way. So uh, you should be first, unless you digress in uh, Hawaiian. I think uh, I see. I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about it because I think everybody knows how I uh, <laughs> how, how I approach this. We're on the edge of so, our seats over here. So I I I don't I don't want to prejudice anybody's view on it. So I'm just gonna let I have everybody else do their thing, and I'll, I'll wait okay. to the, um, for my turn. Well, then, uh, in fairness to Mel, so we don't put her on the spot twice, uh, we'll go, we'll just uh, pass over the okay. South Sea Snuggler, which which should, the, the name should make sense by the time we're done with this video to everyone who doesn't uh, know yet. But uh, Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake, your thoughts on The Lady Terminator? Okay, I had seen this movie before, and I, I said that when you announced it, but it's been a long, 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 long time. And I think the last time I watched it, I don't know, I didn't. I didn't remember it being so, um, I don't know, Cinemaxy. Is that is that a good term? Skinemax. For it? Cinemax, yeah. Like, like the opening scene where, I, you know, like the blood shooting up. I, I, mm, you know, <laughs> like. like that's what awesome. What are you talking what about? Fuck, what the fuck is happening there? Okay. I mean, like, I know what's happening there, but <laughs> her vagina <laughs> ate his dick. Oh, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> why why would it shoot up to their neck? I don't it, get it. It's it's shooting out the tip of his 
dick. No, it's the ball. Yeah. The ball's the first <laughs> one. Was it? You notice they all have screams that hit the guy in the chin. I, that, yeah. That's a weird. That's a weird spray pattern. Well, usually yeah. when it happens to me, that's how it works out. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, 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 learning a lot about each other today. But, but, <laughs> this movie was fucking not even. This shouldn't even be on Voyage. I fucking enjoyed the shit out of this movie. Like it's fucking great. It's got great kills. It's got good action sequences. I mean, for low budget, this movie's the tits. Okay, it's fucking good. <laughs> and you see like, them. There's that. tits in it. Yeah, you, yeah, you get some actual actual boobs in this. Like the boobage factor is there. So, and this one was just so much, so much better. And I watched this one first because I figured I already Ooh. saw it. So I was like, all right, I, I'll just revisit it. But it was so, it, it's so much better than the other one that came out like years later, right? Like several years later. Three, three years later. Yeah, like. It was so good. It, it was so good. It, it, it's honestly probably my second favorite movie we've watched on Voyage. It just doesn't belong in here at all. Like entertaining. Next it was good. What was your wow. favorite? Begotten. What was my favorite? The content. The content. <laughs> but no, that um, was a good one. That was a good yeah, one. I'll, I'll I'll cut it up there. So Go ahead for time's sake. She did. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, cut it off just like she did, right? Yeah. Uh, Tony, carry on, sir. How do you feel? Uh, well, like most, I watched this second because I figured this was going to be the better one, and it was. Um, I don't understand <laughs> why the ocean. Like, I get, I get it. The whole, the whole sea witch thing, and then. But why is she like tied to a bed? Like, where is this bed? Like, like is this a uh, bikini bottom or something? She's tied to a fucking bed in the back of Squidward's house or something. Like, I'm like, okay. And then, the, and then <laughs> that eel or whatever fucking. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like what is what the hell am, am I watching? Like I watch some weird shit. Like, this is like I, I feel like if this was made in America, it would suck. And <laughs> it was made perfectly where it well, I don't know where it was made. Indonesia again? Indonesia. Indonesia. I gotta watch more Indonesia movies because if they're like these, at least this one, you know, they're kind of fun, but like uh uh, they're like I was texting the, in the chat with you is like you know funny lines the anthropologist stuff that that made me laugh then like the whole three bodies in there like oh it must it's a small bite it must be an it's small it must be an animal small animal or something like that and it's like you right know, right um, I'm blanking on what else I was gonna say so I'll try to think of it but yeah I, all in all pretty good movie <laughs> just move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like seriously blanking right now. Like I'm picturing the movie. I remember the, I remember the other one. The bad ones. Well, I remember the other one more because I, it was so bad. And this one, I don't know. It's weird. Like I had so what, much what, to say about that one. What about this and the uh, the helicopter? Wasn't that helicopter explosion phenomenal? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, understand why like they they could shoot her and shoot her and nothing. You know, which was cool. Like it was like just like mm -hmm. Terminator and mm -hmm. stuff, but like she could catch on fire. That doesn't make sense to me. And both movies kind of ended in a way the same, like with some kind of voodoo guy and a book <laughs> and a magic powder. You know, we and, we didn't and talk they... about really the very ending. We talked a little bit about the very ending of the other movie, but that was a mess. They <laughs> kind of break the mirror and then. Oh, it's weird. But like, I thought too, like the girl who was in the beginning, because she said, I'll curse your, I'm hot. She was, she cursed him, the, the husband. Uh, for for a hundred years. For a hundred years. I'll get, well, I says, I'll, I'll get revenge on your granddaughter a hundred years from now. Right. So wouldn't that be her granddaughter too? Yes, this rude lady right here. No, right. because she technically died or she went away, so she didn't really have a baby. 
Well, then maybe she, but maybe she already had kids with him. No, I'm he just, just they just met. That first fuck was the first time they met. Oh, that see, I didn't get, I didn't catch it. I thought it was her <laughs> husband because she said something like, "We're married now." He said, "We're married now." So yeah. I thought they were already <laughs> together. Well, he was no, threatening to marry. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot oh, of layers, but basically, like, uh, if if you best the South Sea Queen, which I have, I'm the South Sea Snuggler. So uh, oh, if you best if you, if, of YouTube. If you best her, if, if you of, you, of YouTube, if you best her sexually, then you win her, and then you can marry her. So that's what it was. But um, yeah, okay. they're not like they're not like dating in the suburbs or whatever. I I just thought. I, I I guess I missed really missed that part because I thought, well, why would she kill her own granddaughter in a hundred years? And then they didn't use the Stupid. same actress, which I was fine with because I thought the second actress was way hotter, or I should say she was hot. The other one really wasn't. But like, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like just a Terminator ripoff in a way, but like, not completely. It's like a there. There's like, I don't know. Terminator Two wasn't out yet. But I was thinking, like, when he she kept falling from the shotgun, like, like the T one thousand. I thought, like, when he fall down and get back up and stuff. But that was, oh my god, they influenced T two. Yeah, I can't oh totally god. watch this shit. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> fucking <laughs> thief. Where she's she cuts her eye out, which that's another oh, one. Oh, that's a that's a Terminator reference. In, and it's I love that. And part. it's on the wrong side. Like, yeah. did you notice yeah. when she puts it back it, in? Like, it, well, it's shot in the mirror, and then yeah. when they have the close-up, it's shot straight. That yep. That's a directorial oh, that, mistake. Oh, okay. I thought that looked I pretty cool. Because yeah. I was like... A ton of references. Oh. Like, like the come with me if you want to live, or yeah. if it bleeds, <laughs> it can die. Like, yeah. Yeah. The police station. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's yeah. basically a rip-off. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a good rip-off, though. But mm -hmm. a Terminator lacked one thing, and that was... <laughs> did not have anybody <laughs> shoot the dick. <laughs> he and yeah. uh, so, uh, yeah, sorry. She's a good shot. Uh, yeah, that, that, I wish I had the volume a little bit louder for that. So I apologize if you guys couldn't hear. But uh, Oh, I heard fun, it and I loved stuff. it. I oh, didn't yeah. hear it. Play it again. No, <laughs> shot the <laughs> they this movie does not like dicks. They uh they made <laughs> many, many a dick fell victim to this movie right here. I don't think the director it, likes a, men. It's a girl no. no, it's a girl power feminist movie. Like absolutely. This is this is the yeah. first uh, feminist action hero movie ever made, and it's glorious. <laughs> Very uh, 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 <laughs> uh Anything else right now, Mr. Tony? No, I'm good. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, suck uh, it. <laughs> uh, looking, I'm looking forward. To, I'm very much looking forward to Jeff hearing your thoughts on this movie uh, that MC can't can't. Well, there's there's about. there's two thing there's two things that I like. This might be too much information. I love explosions in a film, and I like. Uh, women having underarm hair in that with that first girl that you didn't like, she she was pretty good. And you had you had uh, 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 snuggle struggle. How about <laughs> pussy python? <laughs> uh, I also thought of snatch snake, but I didn't think it was family. Well, I like snatch. <laughs> It sounds like a treat. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and, oh, and 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 in and in real life, I like relentless women, and so th so this is right up my alley. Uh, uh, the, the the not to get serious here for a moment. Uh, this is actually based on the legend. It says in the beginning, based on the legend of the South Sea Queen. It's a South Sea goddess, and and in Asia, there's a there's well in Japan. Amarat, what's her name? Amaratsu uh, goes in an underwater cave and won't come out, and they have to coax her out with a mirror and laughter. And she comes up, and the sun rises, and that's the Japanese flag, the sunrise. So there's so there's a lot of actual uh, mythological religious history in this story. And uh, again, I don't know why she if, if she if she can produce those pythons. I don't know why she just couldn't get the knife back from the guy. 
uh, everybody that that she slips with sleeps with has the 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 single stream of blood shooting up on the chin. I thought I thought Chin's that was great. Yeah, I like the I like the eye thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this I th this movie was just nonstop action, just like the Terminator, relentless woman. And and our anthropologist on, on the boat also says, uh, uh, she says, I'm afraid of the unknown. And I thought, why? She said, I'm an anthropologist. I'm afraid of the unknown. What? what I, I don't understand that comment. But it's yeah. they had to feminize her a little bit. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, this is the this is the movie where that you just see bottles blowing up behind the bar, and then you see the people shooting. That's a little editing error, but it doesn't matter because it's all happening and it's all coming at you. And I and, and I enjoyed this once again. You know. <laughs> lasers coming out of the eyes and going all over everybody. Uh, that's a, that's a trope that this, you know, it's the same director. Uh, uh, How did we lose OGP? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? We don't have, we don't see you. Sh sh that's should we, weird. should we wait? Uh, <laughs> Where the hell there did you. I go? <laughs> yeah. Were you, were you got, in the mirror of the previous? I, I, I did. I man, I got I got a little too excited over there, and uh, I stopped my cam. Oh, I I, <laughs> I like that the mystic guy uh, gets creamed in this one. It, the, the, nothing works. Uh, uh, what what when they ran up? Was that a lighthouse or was that a control tower? When they ran up to the top at the end of this one, I don't. I'm not sure what. It's a control tower. They they're in the airport. Oh, there in the airport, it was the control tower. Okay. Uh, yeah, there was great stuff. I think it was the same car that blew up a lot. Uh, <laughs> that, yeah. The cars were phenomenal. I, in both of these <laughs> movies, I loved the cars. Yeah, there, there, was just, there was just so much stuff. Oh, I got hung up a lot. I had to go back several times and look at the credits. The rider, you, it was up on the screen on the top. I can't think of his name. Wait a minute. I, I, I wrote it down. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the the real goddess's name is Nya Roru Kodu. So oh, yeah. anyway, uh, uh, oh, the, yeah. the film had an ass director, ass period yeah. director. <laughs> and, uh, I've already claimed dibs on MC's next movie to be his ass camera. Ass man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would like. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Though speaking of which, the script was by Carr Krunowitz, and then as you go down. The second assistant cameraman was Carr Krunowitz. So I don't know what the backstory is and how this film was put together, but somehow the assistant camera guy wrote the script. And it, uh, once again, like all his films, he has a dialogue coach to direct the actors, and he's just concerned in getting that explosion. I, I, I really enjoyed this film. Well, and wasn't the director in this, wasn't it Jalil Jackson? Yeah, Jalil Jackson. <laughs> S -s similar similar to uh, 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 what was the first director? Wasn't it Jeff John Miller? Miller. Miller. John, John Miller. John Miller, Jalil Jackson. Jalil At least Jackson. he's still using pieces of his name. That's good. He's yeah. the son of Jabig Jackson. <laughs> I, 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 I made Robo Chick. I. Jose, I made Robo Chick. I think I, I made it afterwards, uh, 80, 89. But uh, but uh, so so another female. Well, I, was she female or was she she an embodiment of the of the goddess that was offended? I don't know. Well, the goddess oh, goddess is female. So I would, this I would is this is this is another example of where. Well, we can use we can use Jalil. We can use Kamutu's yacht. Okay, great. We'll shoot it on the yacht, and it's just this sailboat. It doesn't seem right for the old Jack Palance sailor taken out. It should be a pup, 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 you know, kind of thing. Uh, but I like I like the way he cheated the being the boat being consumed by the tidal wave or whatever. Oh, his, last were, his last <laughs> words. His last words are great. Water thrown at him. <laughs> oh yeah. no! What have I done? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a mistake. Uh, oh, but no, that's I enough. Mean, I enjoyed it. Let's let's get along so uh, MC can get out of here. All right. Uh, I could talk forever. Go on. <laughs> Professor. <laughs> okay, so just like everybody else, I loved this movie. This movie was fantastic. This this movie should not have been on the show. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I I will watch oh, okay. this movie again probably regularly. This might make it like a once a year thing for me. Like I I don't know. I really I haven't seen it before this, but now that I have, it's probably going to end up in some type of movie until movie. Elves comes out at Christmas on Blu-ray. Just yeah. just mention it. No, 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 never mind me. Go on, go on. We didn't hear that. Uh, Spoiler alert. I I love the fact that there are so many deaths so. by Snoo Snoo. Uh, I, I think every movie should have a couple of deaths by Snoo Snoo, I guess. Uh, <laughs> death by what? Snoo Snoo. That's a Futurama reference. Oh. Snoo Snoo. You got, fill, you got to fill in the blanks here. Is that some some kind of testicle thing? <laughs> it could be. We're not all nerds, pal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am, but I don't. Know. I haven't. I don't know. Uh, Maybe if it I find it hilarious words. that they went through so much trouble in the beginning to show that she, the Lady Terminator, had magical powers, and then she started killing everybody with guns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, for real. <laughs> So I thought that was just fantastic. Uh, all of the the weird jokes when they were in the morgue, just just, hit, like, oh, just one after yeah. another for me. And I was just this is great. This is all right, and that's the fact right, that, guys. And, and they had the agents for every table. They had an agent for every yeah. table, every body. And they all walked and back then, at and the same time. Just you got that little blood spot where the dick should be on the sheet because you know that's that's how they died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So know what the cock is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love the fact that when she takes her eyeball out, it's the size of like a baseball, <laughs> like the size of a normal eyeball. Uh, that was real. It, it, this movie was just so good in so many ways. But like the only thing that I said, and I said this before, it really sounded like there was like no boom mic, like there was no like actual yeah. sound recorded during the filming, and everything sounded like it was in a booth later because there was like there's not even any like. Uh, like natural sounds like when they were outside or anything nothing you didn't hear like cars or anything like that it was that sort of like set me off because i think i'm just used to hearing like background noise but outside of that i i think this was a fantastic movie almost a perfect movie for the show outside of the fact that it's too good for the show <laughs> <laughs> you lost ogp uh, no no i i know <laughs> and the thing is to be completely honest i had seen a clip of this I had not seen the entire thing, and the clip I thought was so cheesy and goofy. And it was when when the, the when she first comes out of the sea, and the two guys are going, ah, "Wouldn't it be great if she showed up right now?" And then la la la, yeah. there she is. <laughs> and so uh, that was what I had seen, and I was like, "Oh, this is it's hysterically bad," um, but I didn't know they were going to be able to maintain that level of excellence like, throughout the film. Yeah, yeah so. I, I uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna take it on the chin this time, I'm sure. Uh, anything but, uh, else, Professor? No, that's all I got. Right on. Uh, Mel, hopefully, this wasn't quite as offensive, but uh, <clears throat> I need another zero here, so please. Rip it <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're not gonna get it from me. I think <sighs> you knew you weren't gonna win with this one. Yeah. <laughs> I did appreciate this one a lot more than the other one. Uh, however, this one this one had the opposite effect for me. I was not digging the beginning of this one. I was like, oh my god, this one's going to be boring. Uh, but as soon as we got out of the water and our Lady Terminator actually started using guns, I was like, holy shit, this is fucking cool, man. <laughs> and like, the further along you get in the movie, the better it gets. Like, the more kills you get, like, you get her taking her eyeball out, and then at the end, you get almost, like, this zombie version of her. I was so digging that. And then, like, the lasers out of the eyes, I thought that was the coolest shit ever. I didn't even care. Yes. I was like, this looks fucking dope. <laughs> and it's kind of creepy. Um, I didn't like Erica, though. Like, she was supposed... Like, was she our screen queen in this one? I don't really know. But she was annoying the shit out of me. She was very selfish. She was all like, oh, tell me about your wife who passed away. Okay, shut up. Here's all my people that passed away. Oh, I'm crying for you. Let's make love. Like, <laughs> she, was just, she was really selfish. And that, that bothered me a lot. Like, I disliked her. And it, and it made me feel bad for the Lady Terminator in the end. I was like, this poor woman was innocent in the beginning. And right. nobody, nobody gave a shit to figure out, like, like, how to save her. Like, how to help her. Like... She's taken over by this 
sea princess or whatever the hell she was supposed to be, but nobody <laughs> even bothered to go further into that to see if they could save this poor woman. No, they were just trying to kill her for this other lady that sucked. But <laughs> well, hey, her uncle, uh, the lookalike, uh, the Lopan lookalike, died, so you uh, know, she was traumatized. Yeah, I who? What, well, why, why did she go after the first two women initially, Erica? through the whole film but then the other because they were wearing that pendant yeah, yeah. did anybody it's catch that like mm -hmm. i wasn't yeah. sure yeah. i thought i just thought she just wanted to kill everyone no she was after no, she, she was after erica in particular and then she used that pendant to kill her in the end right or something yeah. like that it no, kind of reminded no. me of elvira like at the end she like the, the uh, bad guy with her ring and then the ring is worthless after that because the pendant was well, worthless after that the pendant took her eye out but she kills her another way <laughs> oh well anyway she, she i was that. Super glad Sorry. that Tom lived in the end because he was he was funny throughout the movie. He was like the sidekick guy or whatever. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, but the whole ending sequence, I really I really dug that. I think it was weird though how they're Get the tank there and the bodies just keep coming. <laughs> and they keep looking at them like, "Oh, you're still alive," and then take him. And yeah. Like, like, why are they all standing there and just looking at these bodies? And so, uh, MC, I just I have a couple things to say about this, and then and then I'm I'm going to give you all the time you want to bask in the glory of uh, my <laughs> defeat here. Uh, but uh, I loved the the explosions, the cheesiness, the you know the helicopter that exploded, but the frame was still up there in the sky. Uh, you know, some of that type of like the lower budget action stuff was a lot of fun, and uh, I just I loved, you know, I mean like. At first, I was really bugged by it, but then when she's out there with the Uzi and the Uzi is like, pew, like a shotgun instead of, you know, like a rapid fire, like little things like that. At first, I was going like, come on, what's going on? But then it was all everything was off key just a little bit throughout. And so it just made it perfect. It all kind of worked together. Uh, well, some bullets can cut your throat. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> but um you know what this this yeah, this was this was a fun movie and um I, I i wholly regret putting this out for this show it, you know i am really gonna have to come hard in uh round two here <laughs> what to get, to, get, to get yes i'm gonna have to, oh then I'm you'll be a to... target for that woman no, no mm -hmm. coming mm -hmm. I'm coming hard. Yes. So he's coming uh, hard, guys. Hold yeah, on. Okay. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah. Anyways, it, it was day. fun. It, it was fun. Uh, so South South Sea, uh, easy for me to say, South Sea Snuggler. Take it away, if you would, sir. Uh honestly, I, I wasn't a fan. It didn't work for me. Uh, <laughs> Fuck. Every time. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> um, hey, uh, this, bullshit. This, when, uh, bullshit. <laughs> when, when when Voyage had had been you know had been in the works, we're like, oh, well, who's you gonna gonna pick? This crossed my mind, but I'm like, nah, this is too great. This is <laughs> like this is not gonna work. So I didn't pick it. Um, journey back with me a few years uh, to the New Beverly Theater here in Los Angeles. Um, every Tuesday they do a grindhouse night. And um, this particular night, they were showing a film called Lady Terminator. I love the name. Like, I've never heard of it before. I'm going to go watch it. We sit down before the screening. You know, uh, the hosts of the Grand House Night come out. Okay, guys. So um, uh, how many of you have seen Lady Terminator? And a couple of people raised their hands. And you could see on their face that they knew what they were in store for. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, so, the, so most of you who haven't seen it yet, you're not ready for Lady Terminator. Um, and, and <laughs> they were so right. Uh, just a, a packed audience of movie nerds, and the movie starts, and we're like, "All right, well, okay." So I, was, I mean, and this is on. It was on, I think it was on sixteen millimeter, so it's like it had that, that real feel to it. Nice. And then, and then we get to, "I'm a lady, uh, not an anthropologist." I'm sorry, I'm an anthropologist, <laughs> not a lady. And um, the entire audience erupts and laughs. We're like, "What the fuck? What is that? Who is that? who talks like that?" <laughs> and then everyone knew. This is something special. Then the movie, I mean, actually, even from the fucking beginning, the guy rapes a random woman. An eel comes out of her coocher. He takes <laughs> <laughs> turns it into a knife. 
He turns into a knife and says, You're my wife now. What? <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Love it. This is great. Oh my God. And, and then uh, the, the movie just, like, uh, I think Mel said it, like, it, it, it just continues to get better and better. It just, you know, like Dangerous Seductors, it starts off promising, but then it gets boring. This movie gets better and better and better and better. So fucking amazing. <laughs> so many characters. The fucking, the fucking <laughs> army gang, that the mullet guy, Snake. Oh, my God. I love him so much. <laughs> the mullet uh, guy. <laughs> uh, th th there was a moment. I mean, the thing is, it, it, during the screening, everybody was laughing so hard. I, 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 this is when you could get Netflix, uh, like, like the, the DVDs delivered to your house. So I had to... As soon as I finished watching the movie, I jumped on Netflix and I and I rented the movie because I had to watch it again. I had to experience it from the beginning <laughs> with no like constant chatter because people were laughing the whole time and it's like the audience was like, "What? What is it? What's going on? Okay, this is amazing! You shot that guy in the dick! Holy fucking hell! It was great! It was great! Um, um, I." I transcended watching this movie. Like, you know, if you've ever, I don't know if you've ever experienced a movie where you go, oh, and your soul leaves your body. It happened. Uh, it, it, I, I remember the moment. It wasn't the moment when the dude, or the guy's holding his dick and pissing for five minutes. It wasn't that moment. Um, it was the moment where she breaks into the police station and she's got, she's got this M16 that never runs out of bullets and she shoots a cop and the cop lands on the ground. Oh, and she's like, where's the girl? And he says, blah, 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 blah. She proceeds to empty her clip into the guy <laughs> for like two minutes. And then she kicks him in the balls. And I was like, wow. This is the greatest action movie I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> Everything about this is a masterpiece. Um, just the fact that she added that little, that little cherry. Beep. There you go. We'll take that. It was amazing. Ama I mean, oh my God. It, the oh. I like this movie quite a bit. I think it's a masterpiece. Um, those are my opening thoughts. And for those of you who have not seen it, please do your do yourselves a favor and go check this movie out. Uh, mm. On my final thoughts, I'll give you my, my top 10 reasons as to why you should go watch it. But absolutely a fucking banger of a movie. And I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it uh, as much as, maybe not as much as I did, but <laughs> it enough that, that you know it, it did not belong here. Uh, nah, that's boy. it. I, I will rest. I will. I will, uh, I will yield your pants. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm in. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm in. I'm in trouble. I. I am in big trouble. And, and my scores. My get. My guesses. Are, I. I feel like I'm going to be way off on this one, but because uh, I did not think that you all would enjoy it this much. MC, I knew where you were going, but I didn't, maybe you might even go higher than I guess, but um, but it, there was two things in common with both these movies, aside from, well, the, I guess it was different directors, Mr. Jackson and Mr. Miller. But, <laughs> Miller. Um, <laughs> Jalil. But, but um, the two things that, there were very easy solutions that could have prevented us mm -hmm. from even needing to watch the movie, and that is at the end of this movie, or at the beginning, when the uncle, Mr. Lopan, gives her this dagger that could have just been used to kill the Terminator and movie's over. No, we have to try. Even he, the uncle who knew what would kill her, had to try alternative ways to kill her. Uh, but yeah. hey, without without if that dagger would have come into play earlier, we would not have been on this uh, pleasure cruise that we went through throughout this film. So. Uh, anyways, uh, with 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 that being said, uh, Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake, would you enlighten us, indulge us with your score, please? On on the voyage scale, I would give this five fucking barrels. God damn it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's fucking great, Mel. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the grand scheme of voice, it was great, but it's not five fucking mm. barrels. Great. We're going on the voyage no. scale here, Mel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Mel. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Mel. Uh, yeah. It's five, it's five barrels. Oh, it was man. so much better Wait than the other movie, too. Like... minute, though. You <laughs> didn't even give the convent five barrels. So you're saying this is better than the convent? It is better yeah. than the convent. I mean, <laughs> in some depends ways, what, depends what you're in the mood for. See, it, it's a new season, Mel. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
we're not supposed to compare to the other ones, man. Yeah. That's all I've been doing this whole but time on my you, little no, spreadsheet. <laughs> go, going back to the last episode, I feel that if MC would have been at the end of the season, his scores would have been a lot lower than they got because we haven't, we had a little break. A little, forgive that. Uh, screaming in the background there, but um, we we had. <laughs> I'm going to shut up for now, and I'm going to mute myself. Uh, Tony, go. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> well, we don't know. <laughs> well, it's, I felt like I went. Score, please. Like, I felt score, I went deaf there. All of a sudden, there was no screaming in my fucking ear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I get it, Blake. I get it, you man. Have kids? <laughs> Oh, I totally okay. get it. Tony and Bullet both hate kids. Believe me, I fucking I just hate, hate them mine, too. Nobody else's. Come on. Uh, <laughs> it needs to be the opposite, isn't it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I hate everybody's kids but mine. No. I hate everybody's kids' parents. Parents are the worst. But uh, I feel like, see, now we're talking about stuff came back. And I thought the guys in this like were funny. Like, they just again, they just think they're gonna get laid and then shit happens to them. But that guy pissing <laughs> was fucking so yes. funny looking. I was like, oh, shit. and then uh of course, you know, he, he gets it, and then the other guy's like pissed off, like I don't know, but you know what I thought was was this is the other movie because I was thinking about the guys. The guy who bought her a drink, that skinny dude, uh he bought her the drink. And the other guy went to dance with her, and then he like got up the nerve, like you know. And I thought that was a good way, but he didn't deserve to die. I don't think any of the men really deserve to die in this. Well, not in both of these movies. Some of them deserved it, but like those two guys in the beginning, they didn't deserve it. The people on the boat didn't deserve it. Uh, you know, just some of them. It's like, why they you they just think they're getting laid, and <laughs> well. Again, I'm oh, combining weird. movies. I'm thinking about <laughs> no, both. Uh, you know what? I I combine both because I and, yeah, and like I just feel like it, are all men in Indonesia once they sniff the chance that they have a chance of getting laid immediately, boom, stripping down to my tidy whities. Let's go. Yeah, you know, it's, it's the randy nation. Out, like pulling down pants and running after these women. What is going on there? But, I, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that it, it, it's never going to happen to me. But uh, yeah. uh. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I it's not five barrels. It's definitely better than the other one. I was thinking about my score this whole time for this. I, I would say I would give it like three. I wow. Think, wow, bro. Well, I didn't have an <laughs> orgasm after hearing about it or watching it. And, you know, but uh, I mean, it was good. But for this show, it's no Black Devil doll. What, what did it's you not. just give the first movie? What did you give the first movie? Two. So you only give this one one higher than the first movie? What? Wow. What'd you give the first movie? Fucking half. Yeah. <laughs> you can give it a zero. You fucking pussy. <laughs> he wants to win, and you won't let him because you want to win. Quit, sa quit sabotaging this fucking show. Yes, no, kid no, what is happening right don't, now? Don't be trying to talk Tony out of his score, uh, Bullet. Like, come no. on, let's. It was a three, damn it. It was a three. There's going to be enough fives it's in this three. uh, panel here. Three is not bad. <laughs> I mean, it's still low. I'm yeah. only busted. <laughs> don't cry. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I hold his feelings. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I, that oh, was boy. fake yelling. That was fake yelling. All right. Uh, not to cut you off, Tony, but we're getting up against it here, Jeff. Used to it. Yeah. Hey. Not to cut well, off your wiener like happened to many times in this movie. <laughs> it must have just been a small animal. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I really like I really like this film, and I'm tempted to be up there four and a half, but now I've got this other game is what did you think that I gave it? So I'm trying to guess what you thought I would oh. say. So <laughs> yeah. so I, I'm saying you said, thought I would give it a three. Damn, you're good. I, I, that's what my guess was. I, my guess okay. was you were going to give All it right. a three. Okay. But then, uh, and I'll show you my card here. Okay. But, but between us, I, it's right up there, four and a half, 4.75. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Four point right. seven five. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Do that math, Mel. I'm working on it. Would you like to round it up for twenty five cents? I can't today. call it a day. Uh, oh man. Okay, uh, Professor. Uh, so yeah, I I really liked it. I thought it was fantastic. It's too good for the show. I have to give it a big old five barrels. <sighs> yeah, baby! Woo! Cinco! I love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mel, help me out here, please. Uh, I'm going to help you out, buddy. Because I haven't given Mel, any movie... Don't, don't help him out that much. All right. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> You're not I haven't given any ass. movie... Shut, shut. <laughs> OGP, fucking boot him already. You just fucking like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, I haven't given any movie higher than a three barrels in this whole fucking thing. Okay. Up to date. And there are two movies I really enjoyed. So I went back and looked at my scores for them. So I'm giving this a two. Hmm. And that's wow. That. Get the I like fuck this out movie. of here. <laughs> <laughs> I did like it. It was entertaining, but my barrel rating is different than your guys's barrel ratings. Like these she's, movies are fuck, rating all a, fucking zeros in my opinion. Scale. But the convent was one of the movies that I liked the most, and I gave that three. So I can't give this three because it's not as good as that movie. So I'm going to give it a two. It's mm-hmm. a fair score. That's a fair score. <laughs> but right. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see what's pick. wrong with the rest of these guys here, Matt. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I said three. It's not much better. <laughs> <sighs> to be fair, I would have given the convent five if it wouldn't have been my pick. But I'm not gonna give myself a five on one of my own fucking picks. <laughs> okay, so point in chat. Mel is yelling at me. In that case, yeah. this is a zero. I said. <laughs> I said five for mine, and Mel yelled at me. You, really though, is that really what you think? So, I'm. I'm just putting it out there. Somebody's gotta keep you hooligans in line. You can rate whatever, Ooh, even if it's your. I mean, I gave mine zeros yesterday, last episode. So you can do that as long as it's an honest. Yeah, MC is over there rating. just trying to win, though. <laughs> In his head, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Here's, here's your, the thing: I've got, prize, I've got a whole bunch of movies I don't, I don't want to watch uh, on mm. my own. But if I can force you guys to watch it too, then it makes me, it makes it more fun for me. Oh, that's 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 how I see it. I'm sharing the pain with my friends, and I love it. I love it. So <laughs> we feel it. We feel your pain. <sighs> All right, go ahead. Give us give us the big one. You're gonna give it, MC. Oh, I know it's a one, okay. right? Um, uh, no. Uh, uh, if ever there was a five barrel movie, this would be it. This movie is phenomenal uh, on on every level, and um. I just want to call out a few things for people who haven't seen it yet. This is why you should watch this movie. Just things that jumped out at me that, that I just like little special elements that only appear in this movie, but add so much. And, and again, this is a movie you can rewatch over and over again, and you will discover little bits and pieces. It's, I'm, I'm not even kidding. There's so many layers to this movie. There's little bits of dialogue that you missed maybe the first time. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you said that. Oh yeah. Uh, there's so much amazingness in this movie. Um, it'll it'll boggle your mind. Um, look, in this movie, you're going to get, uh, you, who, who doesn't love, raise your hands if you love eels, right? Everybody loves eels. That's well, this movie has eels coming out of cooches, going into cooches. It's fantastic. I mean, it, I mean, you don't see it, but you, yeah, I don't think anybody there. missed there. that in this It's just a slithery uh, little snake. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking <laughs> snake. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 this is addressed to the people who have not uh, experienced this film uh, quite yet. Um, the movie's filled with M16s that never run out of bullets. Uh, who who doesn't love that? Um, it's part detective thriller. Uh, there, there's there's kind of a procedural element. There's a whole bunch of cock murders throughout the city, <laughs> and the police baffled. <laughs> who's killing? 
who's cutting these cocks off? We've got to solve this crime. Um, and of course, then a woman starts shooting up a bar and then people forget about the cock murders. But, you know, people like that. People like procedurals. So there's a little bit of that. That's great. Uh, there's a guy in here. His name is Snake. Absolutely the most amazing character in movie history. Um, he's kind of an Indonesian Rambo ripoff uh, with a fucking mullet the size of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, wow. Uh, I love his hair. I love his hair. Uh, so good. Every line he says is awesome. Uh, <laughs> if, if you go back and watch the movie, uh, when the blonde cop is sitting at his desk, like talking on the phone, there's pictures on his desk. If you look at closely at the pictures, it's scenes from the end of the movie. They fucking <laughs> build from the movie of him like of, of oh. them like like high fiving, and that's what's on the, on the desk. <laughs> I did not notice that. Yeah. I love that so much. Uh, uh, there's a drunk guy who pisses himself for five minutes, and he says, "I'm so horny," but he's still. But the camera, it, it should have been framed out, but it wasn't. So it looks like he's just holding a little hose by his like fucking zipper, and it's obviously not his dick. But yeah. they didn't care. They they put it in because why? It's it's great. This movie's fucking great. No mistakes. Perfect. Perfect all the way through. Uh, there's a zombie with laser eyes. There's a magic knife that flies to space. It is a glorious masterpiece. Uh, probably the best movie ever made. Um, five barrels. Five barrels for me. Go see it. If you haven't seen it, please, please, please. This is the reason Voyage was made. To highlight movies that that may not even give the, the the time of day to him. Well, I didn't think this movie deserved to be. What he said, um, <laughs> uh, if you if this is the first time you're hearing about this movie, go watch it. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. I think even if you gave it a low rating, um, a lowish, that I think you'll agree this is a fucking entertaining movie. Probably the most entertaining movie we've watched. That's it. For so me. you give it a five. Five. I already Mel, put him down. For Mel, can you can you remind the jury what he gave love on a leash? Oh my god. Five. I, I believe that was a five as well. <laughs> it's, it's a good what? No one trusts you after No one that. can trust you. <laughs> <laughs> he did get love on a leash of five. Too. <laughs> I love oh, I, I I went I bought that fucking movie. I've seen it three times. I, I like I like cinema. I'm sorry, Tony. I like movies. She Should also gave Terror at Blood Fart Lake a five as well. Well, that one, that one, he's, that just, one so, awesome. he's just flinging fives like it's nobody's business. He's Here, sabotaging everything. Sorry. Here's a, here, here's a little thing to watch. There's a scene where they she steals the car at the shopping mall parking lot or wherever that is. And some guy comes out and goes, That's my car. <laughs> I believe that was the director. We can compare stills and everything. Mm. That might be a, a, a momentary mm. appearance from the director, a fleeting moment. Mm. He was excellent. He didn't get shot in the dick, so maybe that. that it, yeah, he just he just sat in. That was my that's my car. God, and then yeah. like, so many cock shots. Like this movie's all about her shooting people in the dick. That's yeah. wonderful. That's no. the kind of shit you like, do in your mind. You're like, why did Terminator just like rip that dude's testicle off? He should have done that. This movie does it. Yeah. <laughs> so great. yeah. Nobody wanted that oh. in Terminator. <laughs> yeah. Final yeah. fulfillment. To, to your point, MC, if you if you saw this and and, and just kind of looked at it first glance, you're gonna go, Oh, that's gonna be complete crap. And so this it is perfect for the show because th this is one of those movies that most of us may just go like, oh, that's going to be garbage. I'm not going to watch it. And then, uh, what do you know, an hour and a half of pure entertainment here. So, uh, It promises me. Oh, it, it, sorry, Jeff, I cut you out there. Was, it oh, oh it promises crap, but it delivers a meal. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's so right, that's right. before I give my <laughs> score, I just want to remind <laughs> everybody... <laughs> Did you that's make all you need. That or is that on YouTube? That is all you need. That's on YouTube. That is all you need there, and it's it's much longer. It goes on and on and on. I just took a clip of it. Uh, so, but it's fun. If you need a Lady Terminator fix, I find that and watch it. We're screaming again, so forgive me. But um, no, I would have had I seen this before. I would have never in a million years picked this because this sealed my fate. So um, be ready for round two from me because I will be coming with a vengeance. 
Um, That's my porn name. We, we, we should have we should have a separate. <laughs> 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 CW Vengeance. Yeah, we should we should have a, Yikes. we should have a separate show on the hit songs that come out of both these films. Uh, <laughs> this one, the big hit song was "Fight Fight" that Erica sings. Oh God! And and, and in the first film, they actually had a song called "Dangerous Seductress" you know, that was like playing that. over a, oh. a mirror sequence, but. Yeah. God help me, I can't remember any music or lyrics. The I fight, like, fight I like song the movie in this, I, I, I couldn't like every once in a while I could make out a word that she was singing, but I, I you know, I just for the most part I was like, are the, is that are those real words? Because they don't well, sound like <laughs> Indonesian. It just sounds well, like she's. It's English. I, I, but they, the reason I called it fight, fight are those are the only two words I understood in in what <laughs> supposedly was the chorus. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through really quickly because we're up against it here. Wait, uh, OGP, I, what'd you give it? Yes, I, I'm I'm gonna. Uh, oh, am I jumping the gun? Get in there, Mel. Jesus. Yeah, no, but that's okay. No, that's that's quite all right. <laughs> I, as much as I hate to admit it, and as much as I'm sealing my own fate, I gave it a four. I gave it a four. Uh, I guessed MC would give it a four. I didn't think he would go full perfection on this, so I was off by one. I guess Tony would give it a three, and Tony gave it a three. Uh, Blake, I thought you would uh, have a little better taste in films, and I, I, I thought you'd give it a two. Uh, so I was way off. Mel, I thought you'd give it a three, That's and a you movie. gave it a, a two. And Professor, I thought you'd give it a two, uh, and you gave it a five. And uh, yeah, Jeff, uh, good call. I'm guessing my guess, Jeff, uh, I did think you would give it a three. We're and, uh, and I gave it a four. Perfect. So I was I was a little off. I was I was I was a little I did not think you would be quite as uh happy with this film as you were. And uh but as I watched it, I knew I was screwed. Uh but yes, I give it a four and um and I have done. I have completely failed you all. So uh I'm glad you enjoyed it though. There have been a lot of movies that we've watched that have been just insufferable and and you know caused me to squirm for an hour so um at least it wasn't uh that I i'll take the loss to give us a break uh from from that right there um, hey jeff so quick, oh sorry uh, sorry ogp go ahead and type what you gotta type um jeff quick question since you are our celebrity guest, uh, just a question about your work. Uh, what is your favorite movie? You don't have to look up. It's weird that you're doing that in your room. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love that. Uh, um, what's, your, what's your favorite film that you've made? That I made? Oh, well, mm -hmm. well that was Temple of Desire that was never released. Uh, oh. but, Al, but, Elves, but of my released films, Elves is my all-time favorite. It's the one that I, before any of this second fame came about, I was thinking... Gee, I'm more happy with that film than anyone I've ever done. Had the most freedom in a very fraught situation. Uh, elves, yeah. Or, the yeah. the fact that Elves sells for like for the VHS sells for like close to a hundred bucks. Like, I mean, I, I've seen on eBay. I if I, I had a nickel for every, if I had a nickel for every sale. Oh well. Yeah. Wow. We want it on blue, though. Let's let's make that. Ha How do we well, make that, that happen? Phenomenal. People are trying. People are trying. <laughs> Nice. I'll send yeah. this tape to them. Yes. <laughs> well, it, it's it it has been an honor, Jeff, and uh, I've loved our our uh, the the treat of getting to go ghost hunting with you, and that was uh, in, fun. In, in enjoying a couple of MC's premieres together, and yes, uh, it's it's been a lot of fun, and I've, I've thank, really thank you so much, and and, and and I really appreciate thank you. And I appreciate everybody allowing me into the club tonight. And I, I'll send you your badge back uh, in the mail. Is that okay? <laughs> and uh, uh, the guest badge. And thank you so much. It was great fun. Uh, you guys are great. Right I'm going to start uh, following you all. Aww. Yes. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah, it was nice to have you. And, and, and I know MC was. I, I didn't mean to step on your toes. If you had a line of questions for Jeff, MC. But, no, no, um, that was it. That was, I just wanted to. Just wanted him to speak a little bit about elves and. Yes. And, and it, um, one thing I think everybody should know because a lot of times we would say, "Where can we follow you?" and all this. Jeff, you are you're still not big on the social media front, are you? No, I, I shun it. I'm not. I'm shun. I'm shy of it. 
I, mm. I, but we'll, we'll see what's happening. I have a, I have a surprise in store and uh, maybe uh, one of the two of you will help me announce that. And then I'll be on social media and everything will be good. Nice. But in the meantime, I think if anybody wants uh, to, uh, reach out to Jeff to uh, uh, thank him for the masterpiece that's elves or anything else. Um, I think maybe go through MC would be the way to go. Hey, that's right. So, Get it off your shoulders. Yeah. Th thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and, and with that being said, um, we have to decide who is going to be our next uh, movie goer uh, here. Um, so, Ta-da! We have a wheel. Uh, we're gonna let's uh, trying to find a. There's a pretty good size right there. Uh, do uh, do we have any uh, anything else before we spin the wheel? I don't I don't want to jump the gun uh, here. Or we should we just get to spinning? Does do it? Oh, do, do the next last, last person, person? Do they thing. have? God damn it! Stop cutting me off. <laughs> Does everybody have their picks? Oh, yeah, good question. Uh, so it's Everybody Professor, Professor my and Blake and Mel, right? Year. Well, yep. OGP didn't Sorry. have his picks last time. I know. I failed, y'all. I have admitted that, Tony. Get off my back. <laughs> if I was on your back, it'd be broken. <laughs> Let's spin. Let's spin. Fat. All right. Here we go. We're spinning no the wheel. Go next. Oh, my Christ, that scared me. I was like, where the hell is that coming from? First one to go. So, uh, Mel, you're off the hook. Right? Uh -oh. Here we go. Here we go. Who shall it be now? That uh, looks like a oh. oh. <laughs> professor. <laughs> Pro the professor will be the professor will be blessing us with some phenomenal movies i'm sure what do we got professor well uh it's probably going to be another uh, uh episode that's fairly gentle for everybody because i'm going uh, with a theme of uh i wish it were romero <laughs> and uh we're gonna go with astro zombie and nightmare zombie oh uh -huh. man okay you're okay. in trouble too buddy Yep, I know both of those movies are, are fairly well regarded, but I, I sometimes it's nice just to not do like complete crap. Let's let's mm -hmm. be gentle a little bit. Well, no, Astro Zombie sucks fucking ass, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the other one? Astro Zombie and Nightmare Zombie. Nightmare Zombie. Can you uh, pull up so... IMDb? Well, Astro Zombie, there are like hey. about 15 different movies named Astro Zombie. Do you have a year on that, Professor? Uh, is it, I mean, oh, wait. This one's Astro Zombie. Is I was going to say, it, is it this one? No, from this 68? That one. That's the one. This, oh, this yeah. is the one? That's the one. Oh, Mel yeah, has it. She loves it. I knew it. <laughs> okay. well, how do I get rid of that? girls! <laughs> so... Oh, it's a zombie bum. nightmare, not nightmare zombie. Sorry. Oh, yeah, zombie yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you, you made meant. that too small. I know what you meant. Uh, I but did there, yeah, I there it is. <laughs> that, that's the one, right? That is the yep. one. Okay, so from 1968, uh, the plan to build a superhuman how by murdering innocent, convenient victims and using various bits of them. The result: creatures on rampage. How could and, killing be convenient? It must be really hard. <laughs> <laughs> and and the other one, she what fell was the into the other shredder. One? Zombie uh, nightmare. Zombie yeah, zombie nightmare. nightmare. Yeah, or nightmare zombie. One of the two. Starring Adam 87. West. Eighty-seven. Great. Uh, oh. Ba -bum. Oh, and available on Tubi. Phenomenal. I, oh, be yeah. I believe both Adam of them West. are actually on Tubi. Is that really yeah. Tia Car Carrera? However you say her name. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Wow, I didn't realize she was Adam that old. West is a, is a pretty big perv in this one, if I remember. Decent, nice. That's a good looking fucking kitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> holy fuck. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> I've been wanting to go back and rewatch that whole show. <laughs> uh, so. A mother resorts to voodoo to get back those who killed her son. Ha 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 ha. Should be fun. Should be a fun episode. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, 
Uh, any, uh, well, uh, let's see. So we know we can't find Jeff on social media for the time being, uh, but uh, let's go around the block here and tell everybody quickly where uh, to find us and what's going on. MC, lead us off, if you would. Uh, nothing really uh, going on this month. Uh, I'm doing the vinegar syndrome at the beginning of uh, March, and that's pretty much it um, for the moment. That's uh, I'm 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 staying off of YouTube, detoxing as it were. That's me. nice, nice, uh, Mr. Blake. Yeah, I got my um, normal unboxings, and I I filmed a bunch of reviews. I just haven't got them up yet. Um, Tony and I have a new weekly show starting this week. Actually, the first episode will be up saturday i think tentatively that's when we want to go up so the first episode will be up saturday and then it's going to be up every week after that so nice 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 what is, can you talk about like what, what is this the uh, uh van damme or what it's not no. it's a totally different show ah oh, sure. okay. we're not going to tell the name of it or you can uh, have at it bro <laughs> i don't, oh, don't want to steal all the thunder oh you okay it's called is it still awesome and we're basically because oh. of sidekicks, we're like, what else is gonna suck now from our childhood? So, <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, what we did we love? Episode, or she just like it? And oh, then, and, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say. Well, okay, uh, you know, I will then. I will go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I was gonna <laughs> say, what did we love from our childhood that? No, we now know. flush down the toilet. <laughs> I didn't know death toilet back then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but That's uh, actually a really fun idea for a show because you know how many movies lately that I've watched from my childhood that I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is not yeah. good. Yeah. Saturday right. the 14th is at the top of the list. And we're going to alternate. Uh, this one's going to be on his channel. The next week when we record it, it'll be on my channel and back and forth. Should we tell him the first one or... Yeah, go ahead. We're, we're, we covered the wizard. Oh. Okay. 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 I like nice. that. Nice. Uh, and, and a reminder, everybody's links are down below, so you can find them there. Yeah. Uh, Professor. I've been, oh, I wasn't done. <laughs> oh, my fault. My fault. <laughs> I, I've actually been uploading some videos lately, so oh. I have three oh. new ones on there. And, uh, and then I'll have this, is it still awesome, every other week. And if we ever get a Van Damme thing in, who knows? But we plan on doing stuff. Like, so yeah, oh. my, I'm getting more active. I've noticed that, and I and I apologize, Tony. I, I that's right. I uh, Blake tossed it down to you about your joint venture there. So <laughs> forgive me for that. Yeah, but he didn't want to. I, I have wanted. noticed more content out of your channel lately. Very cool. Yeah, thank you. Are you done? <laughs> yes. It's about <laughs> fucking time. Damn it, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, professor. Uh, I've actually got something that I'm working on with a buddy of mine. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, some sort of film review discussion thing. Uh, that should We should start seeing episodes for that in about a month, maybe a month and a half. Nice. Nice. Uh, and Mel. Uh, I'm Mel from My Killer Podcast. You can find me on all social media platforms at My Killer Podcast. That's it, because I just wing everything. <laughs> are, are you going to shout out your... What? Are you going to shout out your OF, My Killer Feet? My Killer Feet. Oh, my OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> find me over on OnlyFans, and you guys can see my feet. People can find me often on weekdays between Bob's Donuts and Coffee Corner at the Farmer's Market. If you're interested. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good to know, Jeff. And and and, and I uh, I I did not uh, you know intend you know mean to exclude you from uh, the. Oh no uh, no no! I just I just saying, but, no, no. Okay, uh, Mel, on your on your OF, do we get to see your scrotum? Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. <laughs> good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I know I should have mentioned guess, that because that's really yeah. what everyone wants uh, to see. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. But anyways, thank you everybody. Thanks everybody for watching and hanging out with us today. I apologize for not getting to all the comments, uh, but uh, this has been a lot of fun. Uh, we should do this more often, right? No, nope. yeah. so, we should. Uh, How about 
Yes. Yes. Thank you, everybody. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you, no, Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, oh, thank man. You, it's thank you, it's been an honor. It has been an honor. And uh, hopefully get to see you soon. We'll have to do something. Hope so. So, yeah. All right, everybody. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we'll, uh, I guess I, I don't have a fancy uh, outro like uh, um, Mr. Uh, he's over there normally does. So we'll just end it with...